Nah, I'm like, what's up, uh, y'all? In the spirit of Super Bowl Sunday, I figured I'd share with you a classic Eagles game day Uber ride. What kind of car are you in? It's a black Honda Civic. I had just dropped somebody off at the stadium. Yeah, I see you. Come down the block. And I get pinged right away. Now, this tells me all I need to know about this guy. Odds are, doesn't have a ticket, went down there early a.m. The tailgate and is now hammered looking to watch the game somewhere else. So even though his tone was a little sharper than the average level of rudeness you would find in Philly, I let it slide because I figured he was drunk. Now, there's a lot that's about to happen in this video, and after it all goes down, I'll play a little Monday morning quarterback to explain the play-by-play. -play. What's up? What's up, man? You got more coming? How you doing? Those guys with you? Yep. Cool. I dip spinning this show. No, fuck no. Get the fuck off my water, man. Can you chug that, Joe? Get the fuck out of here. You fucking kidding me? You can't chug that, Joe? You fucking kidding me? How far are you guys going? Two blocks? Alright. Don't fucking touch my shit. Sorry? Yo, you good, bro? Me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's not. He's fucking grabbing my shit, telling me to chug my water. What? You guys all set? Yeah. The uh, Callahan's Grill? Yep. yep. Alright. Hey. My bad, dude. It's cool. You just, you know, you don't get in someone else's car and grab their shit and tell them to do, you know? Bring bring bad juju to the birds. You don't want to do that, right? <laughs> yep. Sorry, man. It's all good. It's nothing. It's all done. So to run that oh, back. I dip spinning this show. No, fuck no. My water, man. Can you chug it, Joe? That means he had some chewing tobacco in, and John is a Philly way of saying basically anything, literally anything. And in this case, it was my water bottle. Get the fuck out of here. You fucking kidding me? You can't chug it, John. When I asked how far are you going, how far are you guys going? Two blocks? Alright. Don't fucking. Uber drivers have no idea where you're headed until you're in the car and they start to trip. If this guy said he was going somewhere I didn't want to go, I was going to give him the boot because, well, I just didn't like him. Sorry? Oh, you good, bro? Me? <laughs> no. I went all taxi driver De Niro, you talking to me? Because if that was the first thing this dude said to me, getting in my car after his boy did that, let's just say this video would have went a little bit differently. No. <laughs> He's not. He's fucking grabbing my shit, telling me to chug my water. And just as I was ready to escalate the situation on the dude in the back, I realized he wasn't talking to me. You guys all set? Yeah. And therefore, I didn't need to talk to him like that, so I felt a little bad. And why punish those three in the back for something they had no part in? It's not bad, dude. And so I figured I'd take the ride. It's cool. You just, you know, you don't get in someone else's car and grab their shit and tell them to do, you know? Make sure you don't get that on my car, man. Dude keeps opening the door because he needs to spit. My first thought was, I hope this jackass gets his diff spit on my car, then I can charge him $250 for a cleanup. And I found pleasure in that. Not necessarily in the $250. I mean, sure, it'd be nice. But mainly because how great it will be when he wakes up the next day with a $250 charge from Uber. And as I'm driving, I started thinking, how stupid that is. Here I am, literally hoping someone spits in my car and I'll have to clean up that spit just to piss off some drunk guy that I don't know and I'll never see again. It's like the whole cut off your nose to spite your face kind of thing. How stupid can I be? Now then I got a big old breakfast in the fridge. Thank you. Um, hopefully. I didn't mean to come in here hot. Take your order. Sorry, it's all good. It's all done. <laughs> I do like that hat though. Thank you. I'll be honest. When she said that out of nowhere, my inner dialogue was like, Don't you dare patronize me, lady! And what do you mean, though? AKA, you've been coming off as kind of a dick, but you have a cool hat. Now look, I'll never share a video showing people's likeness without their permission, but man, I wish you could have seen these people's faces. Dude in the front has that frustrated but hilarious drunken confusion the whole time. Dude in the back seat is scowling at me, debating whether or not he's going to say something to escalate the situation or let it slide. 
Blondie has this what's going on look and Brunette couldn't care less. She was just finger dating away. And it's funny, when I saw on camera the dude in the back, how pissed off he looked at me, my first thought was, how could he look at me like that? I was right. And then I realized the first interaction I had with him was snapping at him. I would have acted the same way as this dude. If anything, he handled it better than I would have. See, that's the thing, and this is why I wanted to share this video. And trust me, it's not to make myself look like a good guy for giving this dude the water bottle. Truth be told, y'all threw me off on the last video, the Uber rider in a panic. There was a bunch of comments saying I'm a good person. And while I appreciate it, don't get me wrong, I thought I made it clear that the point of the video is that I was being an underappreciative, out of touch with what's important type of person. But I think this short little ride is such a perfect example of how the majority of arguments and fights and even wars start out of misunderstanding. Just in that situation, nobody thought they were wrong and nobody was deliberately trying to hurt somebody else. Other than, honestly, you could argue me. Front seat was just a drunk guy who needed a spit. Dude in the back didn't want to be snapped at by his Uber driver, understandably so and Blondie wasn't patronizing me. She was just trying her best to quell the situation. As for the brunette, well, she was in her own world. The rare time being on your phone too much has its benefits. I'm Driver Ed. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. I got some real exciting things coming up, but until next time, over and out.